good evening. As you guys heard this morning from Saroon and from Blair, God has done incredible miracles in Cambodia over the past decade. Last year at the GPG, we asked you to pray that all of these changes, that this success and progress would become deeply rooted in Cambodia with the public justice system and the church taking full ownership over the fight against trafficking, over their call to protect the poor from violence. Well, I'm excited to share that something transformative really did happen over this past year in the hearts and minds of government and church leaders. Really, in the past five months, we have seen this transformation. They are speaking up more boldly, and they are just collaborating together more naturally. They are taking full ownership over key initiatives, and they are proactively on their own seeking out victims and holding perpetrators accountable. And we're just so excited to see the church praying more consistently and reaching out to their hurting neighbors more courageously. God has really reminded us, especially in the past few months, that he is in control and that he, this is really his plan. So this year, our IGM Cambodia team is laser focused on ensuring that all of our partners are totally equipped and successfully carrying on this fight on their own. As we prepare to close out our sex trafficking project by the end of the year, we truly believe that they are ready to do this. So please pray for us this year. Yes. But we have some important work to do before the end of the year is here. And so please pray for these three requests. Please pray that this year, and if you're a bold prayer, pray that within two months, <laughs> the Ministry of Justice, and that's important, the Ministry of Justice issues written, written <laughs> legal authority for the anti-trafficking police to do undercover work. This basic law enforcement tool is vital for them being able to go after the most complex crimes. And we know that there will always be persistent criminals who try to traffic children, especially in nations that are still as vulnerable as Cambodia. But the miracle, of course, now is that Cambodia has a public justice system that's responding. And so please pray this year that police and social workers and prosecutors, that they will be fully resourced by their government, that they will have everything that they need to actually do their job. And please pray that they will experience constant success every time that they independently and proactively just do their job. And please pray for IJM this year as we share this message of hope, really this model of success with the world. Because we also know that the enemy does not want us to either recognize nor celebrate what God has done. But we are going to proclaim God's glory and miracles and hope this year. We are going to tell the story of what God has done in Cambodia. And this year, we are going to prove that justice for the poor is possible. So please pray that God will use this message this year to spur millions of people in every nation around the world to love their hurting neighbors and to restore every broken public justice system and to bring even more change and movement and resources and prayer to the global fight against slavery. Cambodia is a model of what's possible. And we want people to be inspired and to take that and run with it in every nation around the world. We know that God is changing lives 
But now we've also been so blessed to see that God is actually changing nations. He's totally responded to our prayers for Cambodia over the years, and we can live in that hope as we continue the fight. So thank you for continuing to pray for Cambodia in this really crucial year.